Can you get affordable rental properties in New Jersey right now in the current state of the market? That's what we're going to talk about. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the MLS Search and Analysis Show. I'm James Wise. And folks, we are talking about picking up cash flow rentals in New Jersey, right? Why are we talking about New Jersey when Holton Wise is based in another market? Because Charles and Jeanette, you are a husband-wife couple. You're from New Jersey. You have $70,000. And you're hoping to get some B-grade burrs, right? For those of you that don't, know what BRRRR is. That's an acronym. stands for Buy, Renovate, Rent, Refinance, Repeat, okay? You guys want to buy a distressed asset, okay? A property where, you know, it's it's all screwed up. Put your money into it. Put some tenants in there. Refinance it out. Get as much of your capital out of it as possible, right? The goal with this is to have less than 25% of your funds into the deal, right? Because that's how we normally finance these types of properties, right? You put down 25%, the bank puts down 75%. That happens to be the number one reason I think you guys should invest in real estate. Ain't no other business where you can get that kind of funding, right? It's a 30-year loan, fixed interest, low interest. But you guys are trying to go above and beyond that, trying to do the bird deal. Makes sense. But you can't do it in New Jersey where you live, right? Because you got $70,000 to work with, right? So you're you're nowhere near being able to to pull off that type of deal. So you come to me, you come to our market, Cleveland. Very cheap market compared to New Jersey. We also happen to have a little bit more landlord-friendly policies in Ohio than y'all got out there. Now, here's the thing. Here's where I got to pop your bubble a little bit there, okay? You guys are hoping to get a B-grade duplex burr in the Cleveland market with your $70,000. That's not going to happen, okay? Where the market is, it, it would be, like, completely unconscionable to do anything like that in Jersey, right? Uh, in Cleveland, we come a lot closer to being able to put together some stuff with what you guys have, but you're not going to be able to get a B-grade duplex burr in Cleveland for your available funds. few reasons for this. Number one, the, the inventory is being picked up Boom! It's, as soon as stuff goes on the market, it's immediately getting picked up, right? People are leaving markets like yours to come to markets like ours, right? Because uh, the cash flow numbers are there. You can get in at an affordable uh, basis, right? You could take 70K and do some serious damage, right? I'm going to show you how to get at least two properties for your 70K, but it's not going to be a B-grade burr, right? Because uh, you're just not going to be able to do that, okay? There's really... Very little burr inventory out there in the B-grade uh, areas, right? The the nicer the area, the lower the level of risk, right? Uh, you need to have a distressed asset, right, for burrs to make sense, right? And uh, the nicer the neighborhoods go, the l uh, less likely the properties will be distressed, right? So that's one issue. No, another issue is your 70K, right? You, you ain't getting all in. Uh, on a duplex, uh, you know, buy a distressed asset and fix it up for 70k cash. Just not going to happen, right? So that that's not feasible. But what we can do, like I said, we can stretch your 70k to at least two properties, right? What I have for you guys today is a B grade duplex that already has tenants, and it's only going to require. I got on the notes here. Only going to require approximately thirty thousand dollars of your seventy thousand dollars. We'll get you a loan right up front and then you guys will then have another forty thousand to hunt for the next property so let's jump into the numbers uh the neighborhood quality all of that right after this you might be wondering why i'm walking around in a bikini because this is america that's why land of the free home of the brave the land of opportunity like the opportunity to click the link below and start investing today Welcome back. Let's jump into this property, okay? Solid B-grade duplex, folks. 927 East 216th Euclid, 44119. It's been on the market 47 days. Why? Because I think it's a little little pricey. 134000 right? 
I know a lot of you guys looking at this out of state are like, dude, 134000 is that really overpriced? Yeah, a little bit. I think it is, okay? It's a nice property. We already have two tenants in there. We don't have to do really anything to this thing, right? We got uh, photos taken prior to the tenants being put in there. <laughs> don't blame me. Don't shoot the messenger. Not the greatest photos, but you get the idea, right? It's, it's slightly dated, but Euclid's a pretty darn nice neighborhood. Uh, it's what I would consider a B-grade neighborhood. You got a new Amazon fulfillment center out there in Euclid. So <clears throat> that type of like work, workspace, right? That type of uh, job availability in the near in the close proximity to properties like this, guys. That is just awesome, right? That's what you really want, right? As far as mechanicals go, like the property, it's got a little dated look, but the mechanicals, by the way, uh, they are fresh, right? This is couple years old probably as is that furnace those are the big ticket items right hot water tanks this costs about a thousand dollars to replace you gotta do it every 15 years furnace costs about three thousand dollars to replace probably do that about every 30 years right so the big ticket items taken care of nice dry looking basement that's what you want to see right here's your other hot water tank and your other furnace that other hot water tank does look a little bit older than the other one but you know that's, uh, you shouldn't anticipate getting everything fully turnkey. But as I was saying, before I got distracted by the mechanicals, you want to be in an area with an employer like Amazon, right? Because Amazon, they pay a minimum of $15 an hour, right? You don't necessarily need to target areas where people are making hundred grand a year because they're probably not renting your duplex, right? But people that are guaranteed to make at least $15 an hour, these are the types of tenants you want, working tenants that are going to live in your properties. As such, we got a pretty solid rent roll out of this bad boy. Seven sixty-five and eight hundred. One of those is cash paying tenant, the other is a Section 8 tenant, right? So we're bringing in fifteen sixty-five. $18,780 that is scheduled to come in, but y'all ain't going to get all that money. That's not how the real estate business works, folks. You don't get everything you're scheduled to get in. You got to run your numbers based on fixed and variable expense estimates, right? Here's the chart. You got stuff that you're always going to pay, right? You're always paying your taxes. You're always paying your insurance. You're always paying your water sewer, your lawn care, your PM, right? But don't forget about... The variable expense estimates that you got to cover, you got to calculate for this stuff, right? CapEx goes back to that furnace and that hot water tank, right? You see you got a new furnace. You see you got a new hot water tank. The other furnace is probably pretty new. And then you got an older hot water tank, right? That lasts 15 years, cost a G, right? So I have you saving 939 a year dollars every single year, right? That's not going anywhere. I'm just not counting it as your return because maybe in like five more years, we're going to be like, hey, you guys got to replace your hot water tank. That's a thousand bucks, right? So you're saving for that, right? Roofs. It's probably like a seven, seven thousand dollar roof. That lasts thirty years. It is not newer. I don't think it needs to be replaced immediately. We'll find that out during the home inspection. But I would say in the next decade, you're probably spending seven, eight grand on that roof, right? Think of that stuff. Plan for that stuff. Vacancy and non-payment, right? We're in a B grade area, so you know we got good employers, solid tenant base. We're probably not evicting people all that often. You buy this asset, you're probably not going to end up on the Tenants from Hell show on Holton Wise TV, right? At least not as uh, likely to end up on that show uh, if you were to buy a D-grade asset. But, you know, we have to calculate for that stuff because eventually there will be turnovers. And, of course, when there's turnovers, that leads to more repairs and maintenance because we got to do unit turns, right? So a reasonable person should anticipate of their scheduled 18780 10858 of that goes towards operating the rental property in a passive way, leaving a clear NOI of 7921 Now let's talk about this price. I think it's been on the market for 47 days, not because the neighborhood's not nice, not because the property's not nice. It's because the price is a little, a little too high, right? 134 k now, if you're out of state, that might seem incredibly low to you, right? You're looking at this from, from New Jersey, that's low. You're looking at this from California, that's low. You're looking at it from New York, that's low, but... Truth be told, it's overpriced. I think $120,000 is the correct price. You put down an offer at $120,000. I think that should be enough to take this down. Get a residential 30-year fixed interest, low interest, tax deductible interest loan of 90, right? So you put down 30, lender kicks in 90. After you add in your mortgage payment, you are looking at a cash-on-cash cash return of approximately 11.2%. That's what I would assume this property would kick off on an average basis. Solid, 
lower risk B class deal. And of course, Holton Wise can handle all the property management, maintenance, tenant, uh, leasing, turnovers, all that stuff, right? That hot water tank I talked about a few times, we would be able to go in there and replace that for you, right? And that thousand dollar bid, right? That's an estimate to have us go in there do it, not have like the homeowner buy the parts, right? That's just, that's parts, labor, the whole thing handled for you in a completely passive fashion. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.